Okay, I'm just getting started with the new 1979 digital stereo delay. Um, I will be making many of these. It's very deep and complex. I'm loving what little experiments I've done so far in the last 24 hours. Um, we've got four different modes, mono, dual, feedback, and ping pong. Uh, today I'm just looking at mono, and when you're in mono mode, the left input is active and the right input serves as a uh, send and return, which we'll look at in a moment. Uh, we've got our major time base here. It is currently not synced. Uh, we have vintage mode, which is more sort of the tape delay um, flavor, and then modern, which is more digital crossfade delay. Uh, individual time settings for left and right that are CVable. Uh, engage uh, this on and you can do manual with this off. It's going to read the CV. Um, CV controllable feedback uh, and delay mix. And you can also freeze in some of these modes. Okay, so uh, I just have a simple pinging of uh, the 292 uh, and I'm also sweeping the timbre so we get um, you know get some movement there uh, and this is what it sounds like <laughs> And then with the delay in, at noon, we get... And now um, I'm just going to go through some maneuvers. And uh, be sure you're listening to this in stereo. Uh, I'm basically going to start cascading the 281 function generator and sending its CVs to different spots that you should be able to follow. First is I'm going to uh, stack on top of the pulse and drive another function generator that has a ramp up LFO and send that over to time of left. And then I'll Cascade some more and go to feedback, and then we'll also look at the send and return going to the frequency shifter. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the transformation of sound. And uh, I can stack on top of the outgoing pulse and have it then synchronize this. So we'll stack there, go to sync in, and flip the enable switch. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, there you go. Stay tuned for many more parts. Bye.